Alrighty guys, so welcome to another tutorial here on Skilled Media. Today I actually have another request video for you that came from Petra on the Yo-Yo Game community. Pretty much he asked if this text box engine is capable of doing um, shaking text effects. And I told him yeah, and I also told him that I'll make a video as well to kind of show step by step of how you can just tweak the already existing engine and make it to where you can have shaking text effect. So without any further ado, let's dive on into some programming, guys. Uh, let's see here. So the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and do, let's just go ahead and create an object and load these um, scripts in real quick. The, what is this? This is the create. So the one for create. Yeah, okay, we got that one. And let's just create the draw. and load in the draw engine. All right, sweet. So we pretty much have everything we need. So first, let's start with the create in here. And here we're going to need a few variables in order to make this possible. Let's see, guess we can do it here. Um, variables for shaking text effect. All right, so the first one that we need is going to be a uh, shake amount. We'll just use this as three. And we're also going to pass a lot of, well, a few of these variables as um, arguments inside of a script. The next one we'll do is we'll need a bulletin. And we'll end up needing another one. We'll just call this shaking AL. And then we'll need shake. That and then shake time. I don't know, I'll think of a better name for that. Okay, so we have our variables. Now inside the draw event of the text box. This is where we're going to put the function. Let's see, let me comment these out real quick. That'll be good enough. All right, what I'm gonna do first is let's go ahead and draw some text in here. I guess it'll just be like, let's do a, uh, do not go, I don't know, over there exclamation mark uh, why because it is very hot I don't know okay but this will be the sentence that we'll test this out with now right here we're gonna have shaking this sentence is gonna be the one shaking then it will go back to normal here and then we'll just have this one shake very slightly because it is very hot and then we'll end it there. So let's go ahead and knock this down to one. There's only one part. And the number max, we'll go ahead and just put it on three because we're gonna end it afterwards. Now we can go ahead and start with the fun part. Um, Let's see here. Okay, so what we'll do is if is shaking equals false, if it's equals false, then we'll do randomize with shake. No, not shake time. We should just do shake plus equals random range. And the random range is going to be negative shake amount with positive shake amount. There we go. Actually, I don't really need this in here now when I think about it. So let's move this down there. So what's going to happen is while this variable is false, it's actually going to not just randomize, but it also needs to start subtracting or going back and forth between this variable here to create a shaking effect. So there's one thing we need to put inside of here real quick. And that's going to be shake 
Oops, shake. Times equal shake time, right? That should do the trick right there. But we're not done yet. Now we need to come down here to the actual drawing text area. Which is right in here, these two. And we're just going to add the variable shake right afterwards. Just like that. Oops, just hit the mic, but that's okay. All right, so sweet. So now our engine is actually set up to take in the shaking effect. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out and see if it actually works. Let me go ahead and add this object to the room real quick. And let me see what button I have to press to start convo proceeding. Okay, yeah, there's one thing we need to do real quick. This, we're gonna turn to true so the conversation can just start as soon as we start the game. And R is how I proceed. All right. Let's check this out. Okay, I received an error. Draw self. That probably won't happen in your project because chances are you probably have a sprite on there, but. I just loaded this into a completely blank project. I need to cancel that out. Probably need to cancel this out. No, instead, let's go ahead and make a font real quick. That, I don't know, do 18. Okay. And this one right here. I don't have that, so let me go ahead and cancel this one out as well. And there you have it. So the text is actually shaking. Now, if you notice, right now it's very leaner. It's very, very fixed. It's going pretty much from the left up to bottom right. Let's go ahead and set this up to where we can have a little bit more dynamics in it. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to go into here and let's go ahead and add a shake X and shake Y to both of these. And shake Y. And we're also going to need to change some stuff up here. But first, let's go to our variables. And we have shake here. We're going to need to do shake X and do shake Y. And let's go ahead and add X shaking. Y shaking and I'll get to exactly what that will do later. Now we're actually going to end up passing, well, this for sure as an argument. We'll get to that in a second. Let me just go ahead and do this part real quick. So now we need to update the normal shake with these variables here. Uh, okay. We're going to make a few changes here and let's, um, Inside of here, we'll do if shaking alarm equals false, then we're going to actually set an alarm and we'll just do 60 or five seconds. Now we're going to use this alarm to actually stop the shaking. So this will also have it to where if you want it to be limited time, like it just shakes for seven seconds or 10 seconds you actually will stop it inside the alarm. If you don't want it to, then you simply don't have to do anything inside the alarm and it will just continue to keep going on until the next sentence. Now let's see, so the next what we'll do is we'll make shaking alarm equals true. That should stop this alarm from constantly being reset, reset it or however you say that. 
else if shaking alarm equals true. Then inside of here is where we're going to put pretty much all of this. Um, of course, we need to change some things. We're going to do shake X. Shake Y. There we go. And then I guess we can keep the randomize, but we're going to move this one into, we'll move this one into the actual, um, is shaking is false. And we're gonna have to add to this as well. So we'll do if, what did I call it? X shaking. Okay, so is greater than zero. And I guess I can go ahead and just do this with the Y. It's greater than zero. We'll do shake underscore x plus equals random and then shake underscore y. Now what this is going to allow us to do is we can actually select which axes we want the text to shake on. So if we just want it to shake left to right. We simply can just increase this variable to one. It's like a bulletin, but with um, integers. And then if we want it to shake just on the Y axis, we can simply just change this to one. And we're going to control this all by passing it through an, um, a script, an argument. But first, let's go ahead and test this real quick. So in here, we'll have a shake just on the X axis. We'll put that on one. And before I get an error, let me go ahead and create an alarm. I think I use alarm zero. Yes, I did. And this will be stopping shaking effect. And there's actually a couple of ways we can stop this now when I think about it. We can simply just make this variable equal zero, shake x underscore equal zero, and the same for y. We can also just turn this variable to zero and it should just stop it as well. So I guess what we can do is this. Let's do, um, we can also stop it by making is shaking equal true, but we'll do this. Let's do if shake greater than zero or shake x is less than zero then we simply just make shake x equals zero and let's just repeat it with y less than y Okay, so that will stop it as well. This is pretty much keeping it under control though, just about, but it will stop it as well. All right, so we have it shaking right now, just on the x-axis. And it did not stop. Let's find out why. That should have stopped it though. Um, no, it wouldn't stop it. It wouldn't stop it. I would have to change this. Okay, so let's do that. Not if. <laughs> Alright, so shaking right now. 
and it stopped just like that. So explaining this real quick, why did I do this then? This is just to make sure the text does not get off centered and then it actually gets back to its correct location once we forcible or once we stop it, once we stop the shaking. So yeah, that's what this does. Okay, so we actually have everything set up. It all works. Now the last thing we're gonna do is we're going to put this onto a script so that if you wanted to always use this, you don't have to type all of this or copy all of this in order to do this for a different sentence or not. So let's go ahead and create a script and we'll just call this SC shaking text underscore effect. We're going to go ahead and cut all of this paste it inside of here. Go ahead and fix this up. Do that. Uh, let me move this to another screen real quick. Okay, so passing through arguments is actually pretty straightforward. In order to pass through arguments, you first have to set up some variables that's going to take in the argument that you pass through. In this case, we're going to do var s amount, and we're going to set that as, well, let's do it this way. Let's start with the x first. So we'll do s x shaking, that will equal argument, uh, how do you spell argument? Argument, yes, zero. Var y shaking will equal argument one. And then we'll go ahead and do the shaking amount, s amount. And that will equal argument two. All right. And yes, we have to update some things now. All of uh, shake amount. Here, let's do this so that we know what's going on. Shake amount. This is going to be y underscore shaking. It's going to be x underscore shaking. All right, so we pretty much have to update everything. Here, let's go ahead and get rid of this underscore, get rid of that underscore, shake amount. And again, this video is on 21 minutes. I don't understand why. You're trying to cut these things short, but somehow they stay around 20 minutes for some strange reason. All right, so there we go. We have everything updated and it should work correctly. Now, in order for this to work, let me move this to, uh, let me keep this on the screen. Yeah. And bring this one back. All right, so we have our whole entire function inside of a script. All we have to do now is add the script here. Making text effect. And this is where we're going to pass through the arguments. Uh, the first one that we put in the column or in the comma slot is going to be the X axis. So if we want the X axis to shake, we simply just put a one. Okay, if we want the Y axis to shake as well, we put a one. And then we kind of set the the strength pretty much. That's what shake amount is. So we can simply do like a one and it should move very slightly back and forth. Go ahead and test that real quick. So as you can see, it was shaking a little bit. But let's go back and let's add a little bit more strength to it, right? Let's do, uh, let's do five. Let's do seven so we can really see what's happening here. There we go. Now it's going all crazy. And 
and sweet so there we have it guys this is how you update everything to where the engine can work with shaking or shaky text effects um let's see a quick rundown over what we did we created a script all right and we put the whole shaking function inside the script and we created three variables that we're going to use as arguments in order to pass the value through so then everything can work correctly inside the draw event for whichever sentence we want we simply call for the script and we give it the arguments value starting from the x-axis to the y-axis to the uh, shaking strength of the text and then when we scroll down a little bit more we updated the draw the drawing of the text by adding a shake x in the x-axis a shake y in the y-axis and we also did the same thing for the draw text color as well now it's set up this way because let's say you don't want it to shake right you don't want to get an error or anything right so you don't want it to shake you simply can just well not call for the script and it will work perfectly without any errors Ta-da! it's like that all right and then what we did is inside an alarm we created an alarm alarm zero or whichever alarm you have available and this alarm keeps one the variables under control and it also stops it from shaking so this is if you want it to happen for a certain amount of time then you simply can um can do so now before we end something just came to my head why not pass the time as an argument as well so let's do that let's go ahead and do var um stop time and this is going to be argument three you can pass up to i think 15 or 16 arguments in a script so you can just imagine what you're capable of doing um alarm timer Okay, sweet. So now what we just did is made it to where if you wanted um, the shaking to happen for eternity or until the next, the next um, sentence, you simply can just add a variable here. So we put zero. This is going to equal zero. Anything times zero will equal zero. So the alarm should not even happen, which means nothing should stop. It should just keep going. Well, there we go. And it's been five seconds and it is still going, guys. Awesome. And then if you want it to stop, you simply can just put however long you want it to last for uh, three seconds. all right sweet so passing the arguments when we pass them through we start with the x-axis the y-axis the um strength and then we have the t the duration of the shaking effect now even if you're not using this you have to put some value or else you're going to get an error so it needs to at least be zero if you don't want to use it and there we go and then inside the alarm, this is where we stop everything. This script right here, make sure the text will go back to the default setting or location once it actually stops. And then we have one more thing we did, which is in the create event, we added these variables. Shake amount, the is shaking, shaking alarm, shake X, shake Y, shake uh, X shaking and Y shaking. Just like that, guys. So there you have it. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. I do apologize for this being 28 minutes. I was trying to do it within like seven minutes. <laughs> Nevertheless, you have 
or this was actually requested by Petra, which is actually a pretty cool name on the Yo-Yo game community. So this video here can not just help him, but also everyone else that wanted to do some type of shaking text effects. And if you have any other ideas or want to know what else this engine is capable of, just shoot me an email at sco at gmail.com, or you can simply find me on the Yo-Yo Games community forum and just message me there. Either way, just don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter so you can stay up to date with the latest information about my current project, Maze Attack. Alrighty guys, so thanks for watching and later.